सदाशिवसमारंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमस्मचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्य वंदे भगवंत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तिहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सहना सहनौन सह वीरकर वाहे प्रहनोति तस्म तगुंभ देवुक्ति प्रकाश मोक्षुर्वै शरणमहम प्रपद्ये आमनायांतेक संसिध्यमाजिमध्यांतर्जित आनंदघनमापूर्णमात्मज्योतिपास्मे श्रुति बाय संख्या इन द सृष्टि प्रक्रिया इत्यादि एक्सेप्ट फॉर देयर एंड इन द्वैता एंड क्लेम दैट प्रधान इज एन इंडिपेंडेंट एंटिटी बिकॉज द्वैता मींस टू साइमल्टेनियसली एक्जिस्टेंट रियालिटीज ऑफ द सेम ऑर्डर ऑफ रियालिटी इनफैक्ट देर इज नो अदर ऑर्डर ऑफ रियालिटी फॉर एनी अदर दार्शनिका अदर देन प्रातिभासिका एंड पारमार्थिका सो पारमार्थिका सत इज प्रधान एंड पुरुषा बोथ एंजॉय द सेम पारमार्थिका रियालिटी वेर एज भ्रमा इज कंसिडर्ड एज और स्वप्न इज कंसिडर्ड एज प्रातिभासिका देर इज नो व्यावहारिक सत्ता फॉर अदर्स ओनली फॉर अद्वैत वेदांत इज देर इज मिथ्या सत्ता विच इज व्यावहारिक सत्ता so what vedantins do is that most of the refutation is of sankhyas others are also refuted but they are refuted with very few sutras there is not much focus needed because the refutation of sankhyas is also the refutation of others we'll see at the end of this pada as to how the others will also get refuted this is what is called as prathama मल्ल निभरण न्याय प्रथम मल्ल निभरण न्याय और इन शॉर्ट प्रथम मल्ल न्याय दी रेस्लर हू वॉन्ट्स टू क्लेम दी टॉप मोस्ट पोजिशन हैज टू जस्ट फाइट दी टॉप मोस्ट ओपोनेंट नाव सो हू एवर इज होल्डिंग दी टॉप मोस्ट पोजिशन नाव If someone who wants to get that position, he has to just win over the first wrestler, the world's top wrestler, and then the others will also have been won over. Similarly, if the Advaita Vedanta refutes the Sankhya Paksha, then the others will also have been refuted, for the most part, and then whatever is left individually, they are dealt with. so here the eighth sutra is also the refutation of sankhyas purvam avyakta shabda matrena pradhanasya aprathi apratyavijnayam api patra trigunatvaadi lingopeta lingopeta trigunatvaadi lingopeta just give me a moment yeah it's better now yeah purvam avyakta shabda matrena pradhanasya aprathyavijnayam api प्रधान से प्रत्यभिज्ञा भवती सेज दी पूर्वपक्षी वेन यू हियर वॉट अव्यक्त शब्द इन श्रुति जस्ट लेट मी क्लोज विंडो सो 
when you hear the avyakta shabda in kathavalli he says there is pratyavidya of pradhana that pradhana which is discussed in the kapila smriti or sankhya shastra so this avyakta is similar not only similar the avyakta discuss is similar but as soon as you hear avyakta in the shruti then like soyam devadatta it is the very same devadatta similarly this avyakta shabda is the very same pradhana that we discuss in our shastra says the sankhya but it has been refuted therefore there is no pratyavidya therefore apratyavidnyayam kasya pradhanasya so although purvam avyakta shabda matrena just by avyakta shabda being heard in shruti pradhana prati pratyavidnya cannot take place therefore apratyavidnya takes place meaning there is no possibility of one thinking that avyakta means pradhana because it is very paribhashika to sankhyas it has nothing to do with other darshanas or astikas who follow shastra only sankhyas have this pratyavidnya which is actually wrong because they have not understood that the avyakta is independent tatva in shruti so what has been said is that siddhanti says there is no pratyavidnya what is possible is smaranam you can see similarity and it can trigger your pradhana in memory there is a difference between smarana smriti and pratyavidnya pratyavidnya is that it is exactly the same oh it is soyam devata it is the same devata that i saw in anya desha anya kala similarly this avyakta is the same pradhana that is seen in different grantha that kind of pratyavidnya is not possible if at all something is possible that is smriti oh i recall oh this is also uh, like uh, pradhana quite a few things are similar therefore that kind of smriti is possible but not pratyavidnya even so atra trigunatvaadi lingopeta aja shabda pratyavidnya astu iti pratyudharana sangatya idamah sankhya says okay let me give in to your argument that smriti is possible with avyakta shabda pratyavidnya of pra- pradhana is not possible only smriti is possible but when you hear the word aja na jayate iti aja aja shabda is there that aja shabda when you hear then pradhana is also na jayate iti aja with that yogika vitpatti there is a possibility of pratyavidnya there definitely there is a possibility of pratyavidnya that pradhana will come to mind not by smruti but pratyavidnya saying this aja shabda in shruti means pradhana nothing else so sa aja tat pradhanam meva or sa aja etat pradhanam etat sankhya granthagata pradhanam meva that kind of pratyavidnya is possible astu iti pratyudharana sangatya idamah giving a counter example replacing the word avyakta with aja from another shruti here pratyavidnya is possible this is the argument made by the puro pakshi sankhya sankhya puro pakshi so thereby chamasaadi karanam starts up chamasavada visheshat chamasavada visheshat the padachya there are only two padas chamasavat avisheshat avisheshat means what sadharana there is no vishesha there is sadharana meaning like chamas the aja shabda even by yogika utpatti what is what is the meaning of aja in uh, loka prasiddhartha rudi so rudi artha of aja is a goat but the yogika vitpatti is what nanj tat purusha na jayate iti aja basically jayate iti 
जा एंड देन न जाए थे इति न जा इति अजा इन शॉर्टकट वी से न जाए थे इति अजा बट इट इज जाए थे इति जा बाय आई थिंक परहैप्स द प्रत्यय सो जन धातु प्लस द प्रत्यय विल गिव डित्व सामर्थ्यात अवश्य अपि टेर लोपः सो टी लोपा टेक्स प्लेस द अनिन जन धातु गोज अवे and jakara remains jakara plus the da pratyaya dakara has gone away it is dit so a remains in the pratyaya so jakara and a will give you j in pullinga then in napunsaka linga ta pityadi pratyaya will be added and then you will get ja so ja means what jayati iti ja that which is born is ja and na ja iti aja so you put together both vigra vakya in a single sentence which is not really appropriate but as a shortcut in sampradha it is used as na jayati iti aja it sounds like upapada tatpurusha it is not a upapada tatpurusha because there is no upapada there at all so na ja aja why that by that yogik utpatti <coughs> of the aja shabda it can stand for anything that which is not born so how you the puro pakshi sankhya claim that it gives pratyavijnya of pradhana only here also it can give you some smriti but pratyavijnya is not possible why just like chamas chamasavat chamasa when chamasa is heard or is discussed in the shastra what is chamasa chamasa generally in chamasa means a spoon it can mean a ladle it can mean some kind of a vessel to store something in uh, during a karma vaidika karma so when you say that chamasa is only one particular kind of a ladle or a spoon that may not hold water because chamasa is described as something which has a hollow pit there is a hollow pit which has a vartula aakara on top so that kind of an anti that kind of a thing that kind of a vastu is called as chamasa so how can you claim that it is a, a cup or only a cup or only a spoon only a, some kind of a pot or a vessel how can you claim that it means ladle or spoon or when it can mean a ladle or spoon a cup uh, in any open vessel how can you claim that it is only one of these it is it has a sadharana meaning it is avishesha it has an avishesha meaning there is no vishesha meaning similarly this aja shabda also has samanya artha does not have any vishesha artha as pradhana only it can mean pradhana also when it can mean pradhana also you cannot have soyam devadatta eva that kind of a because evakara is not there but soyam devadatta means it is only devadatta no one else it is a very same devadatta that kind of pratyavijnya is not possible that is the sutra artha vritti se atra purva pakshe brahmani samanvaya asiddhi in your samanvaya adhyaya says the purva pakshi this samanvaya that you are trying to do that all the mantras have all the veda vakyas have veda vedanta vakyas have tatparya in brahma that is not right so asiddhi samanvaya asiddhi is there you are at the end of the fourth pa- i mean you are at the end of the first adhyaya with the fourth pada and still we are pointing out that there is no samanvaya says the purva pakshi so there is no samanvaya in brahma brahmani vishaye samanvaya siddhi nasti समन्वय असिद्धि अस्थि सिद्धांते तु तत् सिद्धि तत् सिद्धि मीन्स समन्वय सिद्धि रीति फलभेद देयर इज नो तु सिद्धांते तत् सिद्धि रीति फलभेद ह देयर इज डेफिनेटली समन्वय इन ब्रह्म ऑफ ऑल वेदांत वाक्य वी शो यू इवन इन द काउंटर एग्जांपल दैट यू हैव पिक्ड अप सेज द सिद्धांति देयर इज नो प्रधान एज तात्पर्य विषय हियर सो द पूर्व पक्षी कोट्स श्वेताश्वतर उपनिषद श्वेताश्वतर उपनिषदि श्रूयते अजामेका लोहित शुक्लकृष्णा सो अजाम एकाम अजाम इट इज इन सेकेंड केस 
सो दैट प्रातिपदिक अजा श्रीलिंग प्रातिपदिक अजा न जायते इति अजा और न जायते अजा एक इट इज वन एंड व्हाट इज इट इट इज हैविंग लोहित शुक्ल एंड कृष्ण रूप लोहित लरयोर रलयोर अभेद सो लोहित और रोहित मींस रेड शुक्ल मींस व्हाइट एंड कृष्ण मींस सम डार्क कलर so blue black all these are possible but then generally you see that all the krishna means dark we see uh, in puranas or in uh, pictorial representations we see krishna bhagwan krishna himself shown with a blue tinge really there is no blue tinge it is krishna means dark but here we'll take it as black for all practical purposes so all these three are what representative of three gunas the three rangas the three colors are pointing out to three gunas sattva rajas and tamas so shukla represents sattva guna krishna represents tam tamo guna and lohita or rohita represents the rajasika guna so this aja Eka aja, the unborn principle which is single, that has three gunas, three colors meaning it is made up of three gunas. Its content is three gunas, and what is that? You also say trigunatmika maya, so it is nothing but pradhana. Therefore, as soon as you hear this aja me kam lohi te shukla krishna, when you hear these three colors meaning three gunas, and that which has three gunas. which is unborn is nothing but pradhana therefore this aja shabda stands for pradhana and such pratyavidya is definitely possible by hearing this shruti vakya ityadi tatra kim aja shabdena pradhanam uchyate uta tejo bannatmika avantara prakriti riti samshaye there is a doubt now which can be sorted out says the purva pakshi as to whether this pradhana that we discuss in our shastra sankhya shastra is meant by the word aja or aja shabdena or something else what something else that's up here teja tejas tejo banna is tejas up up means teja is fire up means water and anna means what it means prithvi so this three tatvas teja up and anna meaning agni hi jala and prithvi tatva out of the pancha mahabhutas so the panchi karanam or trivit karanam trivit karanam is discussed in chandogya upanishad shashto adhyaya there this tejo banna word has been used so this lohit shukla krishna has also been used in chandogya upanishad as well shashto adhyaya the lohit shukla krishna each stand for what tejo banna uh, tej uh, tejas up and anna meaning agni jal and prithvi tatva and then there is trivrit karanam the triad is mixed as material for prapancha so srishti prakriya talks about trivrit karanam the mixing up of three elements to create the elemental world and then there is a discussion there as to panchikarana in uh, taitri upanishad is also meant here because when the three are mixed up the earlier to have already been considered as being created manifest and then they are also part of these three so there is no exact formula per se as to what mixes with what uh, we have seen in vichara sagara another kind of mixture is also possible different from tattva boda because there is no real creation this is all for understanding so all the manifestation has to be explained and it is explained by some formula it need not be idam ittham but if at all somebody is pointing out that panchikarana is discussed in chaitri upanishad and chandogya discusses trivrit karanam therefore there is bheda <coughs> so it can be answered in two ways 
one is answered by bhagwan bhashyakara in the chandogya bhashya itself saying that the three are created later therefore when the agni jala and prithvi tattvas are discussed that already assumes that the earlier two have been created so there are no three mahabhutas there are five mahabhutas and this trivritkaranam is one way to explain panchikaranam itself because the other two have already been created and they have already been mixed up in whatever formula that you understand in panchikarana that very formula can be taken and seen to be there even in trivritkaranam this is the answer given in the bhashya there in chandogya shastodhya another way to understand this is elsewhere bhagwan bhashyakara says that this srishti prakriya is mentioned in detail only to show that it is mithya and showing that across kalpa so another one answer can be what that another answer i mean second answer can be across kalpas there is a little difference this can also be convincing for some that panchikaranam is talked about for one kalpa and uh, uh, trivritkaranam in another kalpa there is no difference but the real answer for an advaitin who understand that the srishti sthiti laya all these are mithya they are all vivarta the jagat is vivarta of brahma swapnavat mithya to that kind of a sadaka the only answer which is really befitting is what the difference in srishti prakriyas the difference in trivitkarana and panchikarana hint that there is no srishti they hint to vivarta they hint to that satta which has never changed therefore one can remain in parabrahma so that is the real answer all these other answers are given by bhagwan bhashyakara only to satisfy the purva pakshi but the siddhanta is that there is no srishti at all therefore the shruti also hints that this these are all stories by showing differences in different srishti prakriyas so prakriyas are not really to be analyzed to see bheda between them but to see that with bheda there is mithyatvam if something appears in this manner in one shruti and another manner in another shruti what does not change in shruti that is the tatpare vishaya everything else is nothing but a story you land on the moral of the story what is that tatpare vishaya is brahma atma aikya brahma atma aikya is the tatpare vishaya everything else is not idam itham anyway that is an aside which is important to see as to how avishesha is there in aja shabda also so aja me kaam lohita shukla krishna when you talk about then it triggers pradhana as pratyabhijna it is the very same pradhana we talk about therefore purva pakshi is going to claim that tejo vannatmika avantara prakriti is not the meaning but pradhana is the meaning whereas siddhanti says tejo vann atmik atmika is swarupa so that entity aja which is one that is of the nature of tejas up and anna trivunatmika maya and that three those three gunas in some kind of mixture appear as the three grosser of the three grosser elements of the pancha mahabhutas therefore avantara prakriti riti samshaye it is a it's another prakriti iti samshaye when such doubt is there purva pakshi says na jayate ityaja sankhya siddha prakriti riti purva paksha this sankhya siddha pradhana or prakriti mula prakriti is what is established in sankhya sankhya siddha sankhya hi siddha established by sankhyas is what is known by aja shabda in the shruti shweta shudra shruti iti purva paksha sankhya paksha siddhantastu na pradhanasya asadharanyena atra pratyavijnyapakam kinchit samasti there is no definite conclusion into pradhana why because asadharan asadharanyen iti tritiya this is hetu garbha visheshana that is a, that's or a hetu tritiya itself therefore it is not a, uh, it is a hetu 
ड्यू टू असाधारण्य दिस अजा शब्द बाय यौगिक व्युत्पत्ति कैन मीन एज यू आर गिवेन न जायते इति अजा इज फाइन बट देन इट कैन हैव अ पर्टिकुलर इट कैन हैव अ पर्टिकुलर मीनिंग इन योर थॉट ओनली बट देन असाधारण इज नो न असाधारण्य न सो साधारण्य न देर आर टू निगेटिव न असाधारण मीन्स साधारण सो साधारण इज दि हेतु ड्यू टू साधारण मीनिंग ऑफ अजा शब्द एज दैट विच इज अनबॉर्न दैट कैन मीन एनी थिंग नीड नॉट नेसेसरली मीन युअर प्रधान इट कैन मीन अवर कैंड ऑफ माया विच इज डिपेन्डेंट ऑन ईश्वरा एंड दैट इज वॉट इट मीन्स सो न प्रधान से असाधारण्य प्रत्यज्ञापक किंचित समस्ती देर इज नो डेफिनेट विशेष बाय विच यू कैन लैंड ऑन प्रधान ओनली एंड दैट बिकम प्रत्यभिज्ञा लोहितादि शब्द वर्ण विशेष रूढ़वा न रज आद सिद्धांति से दैट युअर लोहित शुक्ल एंड कृष्ण डू नॉट मीन दिस थ्री गुण सत्वरजस एंड तमस बिकॉज देर इज नो रूढ़ी अर्थ लाइक दैट वॉट इज रूढ़ी अर्थ इट्स कलर एंड इन If you look at the uh, Trivrit Karanam in Chandogya Upanishad, this Lohita is not said to be Rajas Shukla as being white as Sattva Guna and Krishna as Tamo Guna. This is what the Puro Pakshi is looking into. That such meaning is possible. We agree such meaning is possible. But what is it used for? This Lohita or Rohita is used for red. to represent what red color represent prithvi the shukla varna and krishna uh, sorry krishna varna represents prithvi lohita varna represents agni and tejas and shukla varna represents jala therefore it is talking about three mahabhutas not three gunas this is the siddhanta so varna vishesha so if you take color also why color you will land on if you say you know uh, water is is colorless but if you look at water what do you say the uh, water is white you know look at the pristine white water when it is mixed up with prithvi you'll say oh look at it you know it appears brown or green or whatever therefore the water's color when you say it is clear then clarity is seen the clear color is white therefore this shukla will stand for jala krishna will stand for the dark color prithvi and lohita obviously the color of fire is red therefore it is not landing you into the raja adi or the the three, three gunas by varna vishesha there is a meaning rudhi meaning is varna vishesha for these particular colors the uh, words so they stand for colors the words mean colors with rudhi artha and not raja adi rajas adi raja adu rudhi nasti ityartha na jayati iti ajayati anyatra api sadharanya so there is asadharanyam na therefore sadharanyam is there sadharanyat becomes the hetu due to sadharana meaning of na jayati iti aja anything that is unborn is aja अत्र निर्धारणा भाव दृष्टा देर इज नो देर इज नो पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ सेंग इदम इत्थम दिस एक्जैक्टली दी मीनिंग जस्ट बाय हियरिंग दी वर्ड अजा अलोंग विथ लेट से लोहित शुक्ल कृष्ण इन सामनाधिकरण्यम स्टिल देर इज नो निर्धारण पॉसिबल सो निर्धारण अभाव इज देर एंड वेन सच निर्धारण अभाव इज देर निर्धारण अभाव सती दृष्टा देर इज एन एक्सापल गिवन वॉट इज एक्सापल चम सवत बाय दि सूत्रकार when you hear chamasa shabda also you cannot make a nirdharana in vaidika in vaidika grantha vaidika vakyas when you hear chamasa because chamasa that which is used today word in uh, in sambhashana sanskrita when you say chamasa by the context you know in a, on a dining table you say chamasa then it means spoon bring spoon because somebody is eating and he wants a spoon there you can make a contextual interpretation that it means 
a spoon you don't bring a ladle or a uh, or a vessel a big vessel or anything like that you don't bring a cup but in the vaidika context when you look at the context alone a particular context you will be able to understand the meaning otherwise chamasa has a general meaning generic meaning yatha arvag vilas chamasaha ityado ayam chamasa itya avadharanam na sambhavati it is not possible to understand that this is a particular kind of chamasa why because all it says arvag vilaha that which has a particular kind of a hollow pit that kind of a vastu that kind of a thing is a uh, chamas has that chamasa chamasaha that is the chamasa so chamasa is defined as that which has a hollow pit and a vartula akar ityadi so it, uh, so here, here it is mentioned so ityadau ityada vayam means ityadau ayam chamasa iti avadharanam na sambhavati yatha just like it is not possible to ascertain that this is the definite meaning of chamasa because it it can be anything with a hollow anything with a hollow pit kathanchit arvag bilatva dehe anyatra api avisheshat elsewhere also there can be padartha meaning meaning another thing also can be meant it need not mean only a spoon it can mean a cup also it can mean any vessel it can mean a ladle so so many sizes and utilities of that thing is possible so based on the context whatever is the utility that will be the meaning of chamasa tam chamasa shabda similarly here also when you have aja shabda you should not interpret as pradhana although pradhana is a possible meaning we do not deny that from your perspective it can mean pradhana also therefore it is only a smriti again not a pratyabhijna similarities are there it is not exactly the same and we have have to we have to look at the context to see what it means so that context we'll look at in the next sutra evam aja mantre api ajatva dehe avisheshat na pradhana nirnayah iti ashabdam pradhanam ityartha so what we have said this pradhana is ashabdam meaning there is no shruti pramana for your kind of a pradhana your meaning sankhya kind of pradhana that pradhana nirnayah is not possible therefore what you have said is pradhana is ashabda that holds good why because avisheshat chamasavat because ajatva is common in many things which are unborn in your own uh, sankhya's uh, 25 principles you look at it not many things but there can be more than one things which which can be unborn so the pradhana which is aja is not the only meaning in your own uh, shastra also you look at what else is aja and we'll show you in various darshanas what is aja nayayikas have so many ajas that uh, you will be at a loss as to how this pratyabhijna is even possible if you have studied tarka shastra and if you study advaita also brahma is aja maya is aja avidya is aja we have you know uh, anadis anadis are all ajas and we have six anadis so it can be any of these six how do you claim it to be only pradhana which is not even a part of our six so this is the refutation what we have said ashabdam pradhanam that holds good nanu kayam aja then what is this aja shabda strilinga so kayam aja pratipattavya ityatrah so the puro pakshi says okay there are many meanings possible as per you then you tell me how will you understand this aja means this padartha aja pada means this particular padartha how will you know what is this what is this aja shabda representing so there the next sutra jyoti rupakrama tu tatha hyadiyata eke jyoti rupakrama tu tatha hyadiyata eke so jyoti rupakrama is one shabda it's a bahuri ज्योति उपक्रम उपक्रमे ज्योति उपक्रमे सा ज्योतिपक्रम का सा अज सो ज्योति उपक्रमे अजाया सा अज ज्योतिपक्रम सो ज्योति मीन्स तेजस 
तेजस इज एट द उपक्रम मीनिंग एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ इट्स मीनिंग व्हाट ज्योतिरादि मीनिंग इज व्हाट ज्योतिरादि दैट इज द मीनिंग तेजस आदि सो दैट व्हिच इज हैविंग ज्योति ही और तेजस और अग्नि ही एट द बिगिनिंग मीनिंग तेजो तेज अप एंड अन्न दैट्स व्हाट तेजो बनना What it means is तेजो बनना ज्योति रूपक तेजो बनना अजा माया इत्यर्था तू तथा सो ज्योति रूपक तथा अजा शब्द से अर्थ तथा दिस इज दीनिंग वाय ही अधीयते एक शाखी न हु आर दो छांदोग्य सो इन दि दो फॉलो छांदोग्य उपनिषद एस स्वशाखा दे नो दैट दिस अजा शब्द स्टैंड फॉर लोहित शुक्ल कृष्ण विच मीन्स तेजो बन्ना तेजस अप एंड अन्न दैट इज द स्वरूप ऑफ दिस अजा एंड इट मीन्स माया और दैट अव्यक्त विच वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड देर फोर स्मरण इज पॉसिबल नॉट प्रत्यभिज्ञा देर फोर प्रधान विल रिमेन अशब्द दिस इज दि सूत्रार्थ दृत्ति से इज ज्योति मीनिंग ज्योति ही मीनिंग तेज ज्योति ही तेज उपक्रमे तेजो बन्न लक्षणाया दैट विच इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय तेजस अप एंड अन्न दी थ्री एलिमेंट्स थ्री महाभूता दी थ्री स्थूल महाभूता स्थूल मीन्स ग्रॉसर कंपेर्ड टू दी अदर टू विच आर इवन मोर सटल आकाश एंड वायु सो letting akasha and vayu as be understood as created there is discussion of tejas up and anna agni jala and prithvi so this aja shabda whose lakshana has been said as lohita shukla krishna because whatever appears as lohita in the prapancha there is a there is an analysis mimamsa given there is a uh, there is a contemplation or there is a there is an analysis manana given for sadhaka to understand how all that appears in the prapancha everything in the prapancha prapancha can be traced back to its mula karana which is single because the context in chandogya shashto adhyay is ekena jnanena संभवती किम तदेक वॉट इज दैट एक ज्ञातेन बाय नोइंग विच एवरीथिंग कैन एज वेल बी नोन एवरीथिंग इन दिस प्रपंच सो दैट इज द क्वेश्चन टू दिस आंसर हैज बीन गिवन इन वन सेक्शन मल्टीपल प्रक्रिया आर गिवन वन ऑफ द प्रक्रिया वन ऑफ द सेक्शन ऑफ द सिक्स चैप्टर शोज दैट दर्लियर generations who followed the shakha says the acharya to his putra shishya that our earlier ancestors our ancestors knew this prakriya very well as to whatever appears in this prapancha is colored so whatever is closer to whatever appears white black or red or a mixture of these three colors as basic three components you take these as primary colors just like you have primary colors as red yellow and blue in coloring painting or in video you have rgb red green and blue and all colors are made by these primary colors so in sub subtraction methodology they used uh, the painting is considered as subtraction subtraction kind of coloring so there you use three different primary colors red yellow and blue in additive kind of a primary colors where video is one such where you use light so it is all additive you add lights to form different colors so red green and blue are considered as primary colors so all colors are affected from these three primary colors whichever are these three similarly the entire prapancha is colored 
with whatever color appears to anybody's eye using these three colors only which are those these are the three primary colors red white and some dark color blue or black a mixture of these three can be seen or these three can be seen separately also you can see red something you can see white something or you can see black or blue something dark something so whatever appears closer to that you consider that as a product of that particular mahabhuta what if it is mixed then you consider it as a mixture a result of a mixture of these three in various proportions this is the analysis taught in that chandogya upanishad so that you can land on vaikya as to all this prapancha is nothing but karya of this single karana where these three first you land on these three and then these three are gross you land on their subtle karanas and from their subtle karanas you land on this ekameva dvitiya brahma because that is the karana for all these as well by dependency so anyway this is the context there so ek chandoga those who follow the chandogya shruti adhiyate they chant this mantra as aja is lohit shukla krishna or jyoti rupakrama tejo banna so jyoti hi तेज उपक्रमे यस्या तेजो बन्न सा ज्योतिरुपक्रमा अजा दैट अजा शब्द मींस ज्योतिरुपक्रमा मीनिंग तेजो बन्ना इट मींस दी थ्री महाभूतास दैट व्हिच हैज थ्री महाभूतास एज इट्स स्वरूप तो शब्द अवधारणे सो एव कारार्थ सो ज्योतिरुपक्रमा एव इट मींस ओनली ज्योतिरुपक्रमा दिस अजा शब्द नॉट योर प्रधान नॉट त्रिगुणात्मिका त्रिगुणात्मिकम प्रधानम त्रिगुणात्मिक माया इज पॉसिबल बट देन त्रिगुणात्मिक त्रिगुणात्मिक प्रधान इज नॉट पॉसिबल साधारणीय न प्रधान सो दैट अलोन शुड बी लैंडेड अपॉन वेन यू हियर दि अजा शब्द एलसवेर ऑलसो इन श्वेताश्वतर उपनिषद कस्मा वाय तथा हि अधीयते एक बिकॉज इन छांदोग्य सम चैंट इट इन दिस मैन मीनिंग नॉट सम बट इन छांदोग्य Upanishad, everyone chants it. So, AK means AK shakhi na. Those who follow a particular shakha, they know this. As there is no other meaning, only Jyoti Rupakrama is a meaning. Tejo Vanna Lakshana, Aja, Hi, Yasma, Hi means Yasma. Because AK Chandoga, AK means Chandoga, those who follow Chandogya Upanishad, Tejo Vanna, uh, te, chan, Chandogya shakha basically. So, in the Upanishad, you have Tejo Vanna Atmika, प्रकृति सो तेजो तेजो बन्नात्मिकाया प्रकृते यदग्नि रोहित रूपम इत्यादिना रोहितादि रूपवत्ता रोहितादि रूपवत्ता अधीयते सामनती सो दे चैंट इन दिस मैनर दे नो दि मीनिंग ऑल्सो एज टू वॉट रोहित और लोहित प्रलयोर अभेद रेफा एंड लकारा हैव नो डिफरेंस दे मीन दि सेम लेटर that's why you know when uh, children are born as they grow up they have difficulty in uh, chanting this cerebral r so kids would call me instead of praveen they'll call me plavin but it means the same thing you know what it means pra and pl means the same thing r and l mean the same thing so some can't even make a difference out in uh, because in uh, some languages uh, Rafa itself may not be there, and there are some languages in within India also where uh, Rafa and Lakar are interchangeable. Just like uh, you know, Vabai or Abheda. So when you go towards east, in uh, you know in Bengali, so they'll say Vishwa means said as Vishwa. So Vishwa means Vishwa. there is no difference between vishwa and vishwa because it's the same the word may sound different but vabai or abheda vishwa is equal to vishwa vishwa is equal to vishwa it's the same padartha similarly here rohita and lohita have the same meaning it means red so yadagne rohitam 
रूपम सो ये अग्ने अग्ने वॉट इट इज षष्टी एक वचन दि विसर्ग हेज बीन मर्ज मर्ज ड्यू टू संधि रोरी देन ध्रलोपे पूर्व से दीर्घोण रोरी लोप सो दिस रू विच इज फॉलोड बाय रेप दैट रू अंडर गोज लोप रू इज पारिभाषिका टू व्याकरण दो स्टडीड नो दिस सूत्र रोरी सो रोरी लोप इज ये अनुवृत्ति दे रेप गोज अवे दि इनिशियल रू रेप गोज अवे एंड देन अग्ने हे दट विसर्ग इज एक्चुअली रू विसर्ग इज नॉट बॉर्न इवन ऑल दो इट इज कॉल्ड विसर्ग संधि इन लघु कौमुदी ग्रंथ इट इज कॉल्ड विसर्ग संधि बट इट इज एक्चुअली हल संधि इट इज एक्चुअली अग्नेर दट अग्नेर इट इज एक्चुअली अग्नेस दट अग्नेस सकारा बिकम्स रू एंड देन रू रेफ गोज वे बाय रोरी सूत्र एंड देन दि एकारा टेक्स दीर्घ बट एकार इज ऑलरेडी दीर्घ सो देर इज नो चेंज एकार रिमेन्स एकार सो यद यदग्ने रोहित रूप मीन यदग्ने पदच्छेद यदग्ने रोहित रूप तेजस एव सो वॉट एवर इज दि मंत्र वाक्य सेज दैट वॉट एवर इज अग्नी रोहित रूप दैट यू सी इन प्रपंच दैट इज नथिंग बट दिस अग्नि इट से सो यू हेव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कार्य इज अग्नि कार्य अग्नि इज दि अग्नि इज दि बेसिक कॉम्पोनेंट कारण मीनिंग दि पंच महाभूत अग्नि नॉट दि अग्नि विच इज इन दि प्रपंच विच इज मिस्ड अप बट दि पंच महाभूत अमाउ दि पंच महाभूत देर इज अग्नि इट इज दैट रूप दैट यू सी मैनिफेस्ट इन दि प्रपंच एज रेड एनी वे एंड सो ऑन देर आर अदर मंत्र इत्यादी रोहितादि रूपवत्ता अधीयते दैट विच हेज दिस रेड वैट एंड डार्क कलर दैट इज नथिंग बट दिस अजा शब्द विच इज नथिंग बट माया विच इज नथिंग बट प्रकृति विच प्रकृति दिस प्रकृति विच इज डिपेन्डेंट ऑन ब्रह्म फॉर क्रिएशन सामती तथा इह लोहितादि शब्द साम्यात तान्यव तेजो बन्ना प्रत्यभिज्ञाते समंजस सो प्रत्यभिज्ञा डज टेक् प्लेस बट दैट प्रत्यभिज्ञा फॉर वैदिकाज ईज इन टू छांदुग्य उपनिषद प्रकृति प्रकृते हे सो प्रकृते हे तेजोबन्नात्मिका प्रकृति इज दि प्रत्यभिज्ञा इन टू बट देर इज नो प्रत्यभिज्ञा इन प्रधान पॉसिबल स्मृति इज पॉसिबल प्रत्यभिज्ञा इज नॉट पॉसिबल ननु अजा शब्द से छागे रूढ़ कथम तेजोबन्नात्मक प्रकृति परत्वता Now, Puro Pakshi says, "Okay, let it not be pradhana. There, let it, let it not mean pradhana. Mean let it, let there be no pratyabhijnya in pradhana. How can you claim that there is pratyabhijnya in this tejo banatmika maya or prakriti? Because you are using a, you are using a non-rudi artha, which he has also tried. The sankhya Puro Pakshi has tried using the yogi ka vidpati, but rudi is." Baliyasi Rudhi is to be taken as having more strength in interpretation in Mimamsa. In any Vyakrana application also, you should not bring in Yogi ka vidpati. You should not use derived meaning if the Rudhi artha is possible. And the Rudhi artha of Aja Shabda is means goat. It is a goat. So Chage in the meaning of goat, Chage Aja Shabda sya Rudhatvat. So now, how can you take any other meaning but not goat? Because Rudi Artha is a goat. Why not use the meaning goat? So very, um, uh, very, very much of a vitanda that Puro Pakshi is doing here. Pratham Tejo Banatmaka Prakriti Paratvam. How can you say that this Aja Shabda is having meaning? Paratvam means it has meaning in Prakriti. It means Prakriti, which is. Having the Atma Swarupa as Tejo Banna, which has this triad of elements as its very nature, how do you say that this is the only meaning? It's just a ah. There the reply is given. Oh, we can take Rudhi Artha and explain also as well. 
कल्पनोपदेशाच्च मध्वादिवद विरोधः कल्पनोपदेशाच्च मध्वादिवद विरोधः कल्पन कल्पनोपदेशात च मध्वादिवत अविरोधः दिस इज अ पदच्छेद सो एग्जांपल वी लुक एट फर्स्ट लाइक इट्स अ कल्पना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स अ कल्पना मध्वादिवत लाइक मधु उपासना इन बृहदारणिका यू हियर दिस मध्वादि उपासना इज देयर इन उपनिषद्स यू हियर दिस उपासना वी हैव सीन दिस अर्लियर सो देयर इज दिस आदित्य मधु इफ यू से आदित्य मधु सो मधु हनी इज ए रूढ़ी अर्थ बट इज देयर एन उपासना पॉसिबल टू सी दैट आदित्यादि देवताज आर मधु because there is a kalpana done some kind of a kalpana has to be done to and that is explained in the bhashya ityadi granthas on those vedanta vakyas as to how this kind of a simile is possible because some kalpana is done by shruti and you understand the kalpana and move on to the upasana if you want the upasana phala therefore since kalpana is possible here also kalpana is possible As to aja, like a goat also. If you take rudi harta, like a goat, this prakriti is like a goat. How is it? We'll see. Very, uh, you know, uh, very crude, very crude uh, kind of a kalpana is done to land on this meaning, but quite hard hitting also for a sadaka to generate vairagya as well. So it's a very uh, interesting, though crude, the kalpana is. Interesting for a sadaka to land on vairagya. As to what are we doing? Meaning, the bhoga is discussed. As to this bhoga is nothing better than the bhoga of prani, of a goat. So kalpana upadesha. Since there is a possibility of कल्पना कल्पना उपदेश द टीचिंग ऑफ कल्पना देर इज अ टीचिंग ऑफ कल्पना देर फोर ड्यू टू द टीचिंग ऑफ एंड ड्यू टू द टीचिंग ऑफ कल्पना लाइक वॉट लाइक मधुआदि मधु आदि उपासना हैव सम कल्पना सिमिलरली हियर ऑल्सो देर इज कल्पना एंड देर फोर अविरोध न विरोध इति अविरोध देर इज नो विरोध देर इज नो कॉन्ट्राडिक्शन हियर इवन इफ यू टेक द रूढ़ी अर्थ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड रूढ़ी अर्थ will land you in the literal meaning but the literal meaning should not be used through kalpana you will land on the yogika vipatti as well or through kalpana you can land on similarities between the rudhi artha goat of aja shabda and prakruti which is the meaning how so we'll see in the vritti cha shabda shanka nirasa artha the cha shabda the word and cha iti shabda cha shabda that and means what shanka nirasa and also due to this possibility there cannot be any doubt that rudhi artha should have been used and literal meaning of goat should have been taken no through the literal meaning of goat you can do lakshana and land on the meaning prakriti through kalpana tejo bannatmaka prakrutau na ajatvanupapatti even if you use the rudhi artha still there is no virodha there is no anupapatti there is no untenability of aja shabda अजा शब्द स्टैंडिंग फॉर तेजो बन्ना आत्मक प्रकृति अंतु तेजो बन्ना आत्मक प्रकृति अजत्व कैन ऑल्सो बी अजात्व नॉट अजत्व अजात्व सेम मीनिंग अजात्व कैन नॉट बी सीन दिस कैंड ऑफ एन अंटेनेबिलिटी इज देयर सच एन ऑब्जेक्शन कैन नॉट बी मेड सो न अनुपपत्ति मीन्स उपपत्ति अस्ति अजात्व उपपत्ति कुत्र अस्ति प्रकृत In what kind of prakriti? Tejo banana atma ka prakrita hu. In that prakriti, which is of the nature of the three basic elements, Mahabhutas, there is also ajatva. What kind of ajatva? This rudhyartha ajatva is also possible. How so? Kuta ha? Kalpana upadesha. Due to the teaching of kalpana, everywhere you see there is a teaching of kalpana. You imagine something so that you can land on the shruttyartha. एंड डू उपासना यथा लोके प्रसिद्धाम अजाम भुक्त भोगाम एक अजह त्यजति 
अन्य काम अनुवर्तते एवं सो व्हाट डू यू सी इन दी वर्ल्ड सो इफ यू सी सो एग्जांपल ऑफ अ गोट इज गिवन हाउ अ ही गोट डज भोग ऑफ अ शी गोट संभोग ऑफ अ शी गोट एंड वॉक्स अवे मीनिंग ही डज भोग संभोग ऑफ अ शी गोट एंड दी ही गोट वॉक्स अवे डस त्याग आफ्टर संभोग सो सच कैंड ऑफ अ क्रूड एग्जाम्पल इज गिवेन सो वॉट डज इट शो द वे द शी गोट ईज एन ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर त्याग एंड भोग एवं त्याग भोग यू फॉर त्याग एंड भोग फॉर दी ही गोट यू कैन टेक वाइस अवर्स ऑल्सो हाउ एवर इट इज बट यू सी द वे द एनिमल्स इंडल्स दिस इज दी वे एवरी जीव इंडल्स विथ प्रकृति सो प्रकृति इज वॉट प्रकृति इज सब्जेक्टेड और मेड एन ऑब्जेक्ट सब्जेक्टेड मीन्स इट इज प्रकृति इज मेड एन ऑब्जेक्ट प्रकृति कार्य द एंटायर प्रपंच is made an object by each and every jeeva for bhoga and tyaga whatever i need i'll take and then give it up so bhoga tyaga of every vastu in the prapancha is continuous very interesting that in that sense so yatha loke prasiddha majam bhukta bhoga bhukta bhoga is it's a uh, bhukta bhoga is a bahuri so just like an aja she goat is bhukta bhoga bhukta ha bhoga ha yasya or yasyam yasyam yasya ha or yasyam ajayam sa aja bhukta bhoga tam bhukta bhoga ekah ajah tyajati anya tam anuvartate one he goat one male goat takes the she goat does bhoga and gives up another takes up similarly here you see you know what is valued by one person is willing to pay a price for a particular thing and the other one wants to give it up he wants to give it up and then so the value is such that one person has already you know he he has uh, done bhoga ho particular vastu and then sells it off the uh, sells it or gives it away gives up and the other takes up because the other is interested in bhoga of that vastu what is that vastu it is all prakriti karya therefore all prakriti so tam anuvartate tam aja anuvartate evam tyaga bhogayo karya karana sangata dyutpadana tejo bannatmaka prakritehe samya dyotanartham कल्पनया अजात्वस्य उपदेशात सो दि कल्पना उपदेश इज व्हाट कैंड ऑफ कल्पना उपदेश इज देयर इन दिस केस लाइक मध्वादि उपासना देयर इज सम कल्पना व्हाट इज द कल्पना हियर जस्ट लाइक दिस अजा इज अ गोट इज त्याग भोगा फॉर अज सिमिलरली कार्य करण कारण कार्य कारण संघात दिस कार्य करण संघात आदि उपादान तेजो बन्नात्मक प्रकृते हे दि कार्य कारण संघाता इज द एंटायर प्रपंच सो ऑल दिस प्रपंच व्हिच इज कार्य कारण संघाता आदि दैट इज हैविंग एन उपादान कारण व्हाट इज द उपादान कारण ऑफ द एंटायर प्रपंच कार्य कारण संघाता आदि उपादान उपादान कारण इज तेजो बन्नात्मक प्रकृति त्रिगुणात्मक माया ऑन द विषय त्रिगुणात्मक माया वी आर नॉट लैंडिंग ऑन prakriti by gunas now we are landing by the three elements which are seen in the elementals through color that is the prakriya there so that prakrute prakriti has samya with this aja samya dotanartham the kalpana is used to show the similarity between bhog and tyaga of this prakriti just like it is of the bhog and tyaga of a of a she goat kalpanaya ajatvasya upadesha and therefore through this kalpana ajatva upadesha is done it is like a goat this prakriti is also like a goat there is no virodha there there is no contradiction yatha madubhinna madubhinna adityasya manu madubhinna adityasya aditya is not madu is not hani the surya devata is not hani He is bhinna from honey, but still what aso vad aso vaditya deva madhu. So aso this aditya, that aditya that you see, not this that aditya who is pratyaksha, 
वै वादित्य शुड बी वा आदित्य पर सो दिस आदित्य दिस हु इज प्रत्यक्ष दैट बिकॉज इट इज वेरी फार द सूर्य इन सूर्य मंडल इज वेरी फार बट इज प्रत्यक्ष एज वेल देर फॉर असौ अदर शब्द एज बी न्यू दैट विजिबल आदित्य बट वेरी फार इज देव मधु बट हु इज दैट दैट इज दि देवता विद इन दि सूर्य मंडल सो दैट देवता इज मधु इति मधुत्वोपदेश मधुत्व उपदेश इज देर थ्रू कल्पना तद्वद अजभिन्ना प्रकृति अजत्वोपदेश न किंचित विरोध देर इज नो कॉन्ट्राडिशन इवन इफ अजभिन्न प्रकृति प्रकृति इज थॉट एज इन द टीचिंग दट प्रकृति ऑल दो डिफरेंट फ्रॉम अ गोट टिल इट इज कॉल्ड बाय दि वर्ड गोट और अजा देर इज नो विरोध तस्मात्र प्रधान से अवकाश इतशब्द प्रधानमंत्री सिद्ध अगेन दि सें assertion is made by the siddhanti that this pradhana is not having basis in shruti your pradhana the independent pradhana has no basis in shruti there is no second entity called pradhana which has the same reality of purusha so ashabda pradhana there is no avakasha for pradhana in even in shweta shwatara upanishad just like there is no place for pradhana in chandogya or any other upanishad therefore pradhana which has been stated as ashabda long back in this sutra brahma sutra that is still established this ends the um, chamasadikaranam so we'll look at the next adikaran in the next part ha kamnayanti samsidham adi madhyanta varjitam anand ganam apurnam atma jyoti rupasmuhe namaste धन्यवाद नमस्ते नमस्ते